today I wanted to talk about these random attacks that have been occurring uh, all over the country, even in parts of the world. Just very random people being attacked for basically no reason whatsoever. So before I get to the question, I know I always ask, please go ahead and hit the like button and please don't forget to like and share my work. It really helps me out and I'm trying really hard to fight through the, the censorship wall up there. So I know I ask and um, I appreciate all of you that do support my channel and support me. So nonetheless, let's get to this question here. It says, hi, Lynn, could you look at why there have been so many random attacks against people ranging from young to old, one resulted in death, uh, perpetrators and the victims are unknown to one another and it seems that they've heard or this person asked in the question that there were six of them last week alone and they'd put a few links to different YouTubes that are talking about these random acts of violence that are going on they ha I have that listed on my blog itself in the question but really if you go in and you just do a search on the net you will see there are a ton of people just no rhyme, no reason. Someone seeks someone out and then they attack them. And there is just no correlation. There's no pattern. It just really does feel random. So when I focused on this to try to, you know, what's going on here? Why is this happening? And then at such volume uh, to begin with, I do see this is a serious problem that's happening in a lot of places. And I don't think it's just unique to the U.S. I think worldwide this is happening more and more. And really, the current culture and the shifts in culture in a lot of different areas, it's creating a new mentality and bringing on these behaviors. So why? Why is that? Between younger generations not being held accountable, lack of true consequence in many, not all, but in most scenarios, there's not real, real consequence here. And respect is slowly vanishing. A new type of uh, America. But again, I don't think it's unique just to America too. It's being formed. But it's like there is no... The, the way people used to think and treat one another, it's like that's going by the wayside. This newer culture, which is being born, and it starts in the schools through their indoctrination with students, the way they behave, the way they act, the way they speak to their peers, the way they talk to teachers. They do this in ways that a lot of older generations would never have done, or there would have been a consequence. But what are the consequences now? Teachers are very limited in what they even have the ability to do. And kids aren't scared of being verbally reprimanded. I see behavior. And again, I, I need to expand on that too. I'm not saying that children should be in fear at school. I'm saying there really is not a good consequence for their behavior or their disrespect. And it, it's really becoming an epidemic in regard to that. I see behavior more, not always, so don't generalize in groups with a more liberal mindset. It's, it's just this behavior is becoming more and more prevalent in that group or the groups that are pushing this more liberal mentality or way of thinking. Again, don't generalize. This is just how it's coming to me as I'm doing this reading. And I'm trying to speak freely without speaking too freely, but the agendas out there and those who want to push the agendas seem as though that's the group that's creating a lot of the chaos. There is a push and a popularity to encourage people to identify differently, whether it's your orientation, your gender, who you are on that given day, whatever it may be. And with that, they're also trying to spark a race war and make certain groups think that they're oppressed because of other groups. So the perceived creative victims are made to feel justified when they act in this manner. So it's almost like if you align with this liberal mentality and you're going through, you know, maybe personal issues where you're trying to figure out what you identify with, you know, there's those groups of people, there's these victimhood mentalities being created, thinking that certain groups have oppressed other groups, so they're justified in behaving any old which way they want. So it's like you get these people and you give them a free pass to act any way and you can't punish them because they have X, Y, Z going on in their life. You create a culture where people go out and they feel entitled. They think they can just go out and do what they want to anybody or anything. And that's what's happened. They are creating and encouraging and and this has taken off the agendas and the destabilization of culture also create this newer culture as i had outlined above what i've recently was saying and if you participate in it and you go along with it there's a good chance you're going to get a free pass and special treatment further diminishing any amount of consequence or accountability so when you take accountability and you take consequences out of the equation 
People just do whatever the heck they want because they're getting away with it. So they feel entitled. And then you have certain groups telling them they're justified because this group oppressed you. And so they just go out doing this stuff. We need to quit with the victim mentality. Overall, it does nobody any good. Quit with the entitlements. Again, that's not doing anybody any good. It's not making per people better people because they feel entitled. It's not getting you ahead. It's making you almost like cheating to try to get what someone else has. And we got to get back to our morals by promoting accountability and respect. Those are the key ingredients here. If we don't, I fear this next generation, and I do, I feel for our kids, and I feel for these people growing up through this that actually think this behavior is normal or justified or certain people are entitled to have it. I mean, think about what's going to happen in our workforce Showing up on time? Are they going to be reliable? Are they going to have deadlines? Are they going to have grit to do it? Are they going to have excuses and blame other people? Because that's what they're cultivating right now. And what happens to the education system? Which have you ever looked at that in the curriculum? It's almost like they spend more time with these younger kids worrying about what they are, who they identify with, and things that are topics that really, and this is my personal opinion, don't belong in an elementary school. I have children in elementary school they spend more time worrying about that than teaching us the true history of where we got where we are, lessons, morals, all of that. They don't, it's almost like there's a complete shift that's occurred there. So give that a generation or two and see where that ends up and what they cultivate out of that type of culture in school. And that's really all I have. Uh, I'm feeling emotional as I go through this and I did when I was writing it up. I have kids in school, they're impacted by this. I'm trying to grow people into responsible, accountable adults, and I see what is going on right in front of me. And uh, I don't want bias to creep up in, so I think it's best that I leave it where I have left it here. And I will allow you to leave a comment below, share your feelings, what's your experience. And again, I am Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.